so we're on a road trip and I think it's true they got a very modern McDonald's here and Do you know how sadly excited she was by the trash can here? It was such a cute little trash can with a McDonald emblem on it. Yes! That's a good one! with like an older McDonald's sign. Check out these modern like deco, art deco booths. Check it out, very unusual McDonald's seating. Okay, I just wanna say that he's downing me for the trash can and he wants me to take a picture of the number placard 47. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I am a little terrified of being here. Terrified to be on this side, very low to a dam. little children's water feature I just showed you lots of picnic tables playground and again a very terrifying spot to be standing we decided to get a milkshake to share there at Big Daddy's you won't be able to see it, but over that big door over there, it says U.S. Army Corp of Engineers. And now we're getting ready to go drive over that. Tight turn. That's why I asked you, is anyone coming out? No. Nope. I'm gonna take a look at this side before we venture over the dam. Oh, oh, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Costs five dollars to launch your boat, but you can have an annual pass for 40. And somebody just recently launched. Public bathrooms. just posted this scene on um, our Instagram do you follow us life's a whirlwind and I put the temperature which is 89 degrees Wolf Creek Dam construction from 1941 to 1952 exactly a year 258 feet high the Lake Cumberland is 101 river miles. She has a few issues with 
math and reality concepts on how long it takes to build dams. Oh, a year. <laughs> exactly a year. <laughs> I wonder if I said, oh, Lord. I was like, how could that be? A whole year? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she just missed a decade, that's all. <laughs> This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin if we should just stop here and look for some stuff. vehicles that need to be restored now it it keeps getting better we're gonna go a little further up here there's some in the backyard there house is gone well not gone but definitely starting to be overgrown no trespass there's like there's a barbed wire fence right here you can't see it but look at all those in the woods wow stacked on top of each other I can't even begin. Oh my gosh, I wish I had the big camera, the real big, good can Canon to take pictures of this. This 
is what we love finding when exploring. On our road trips, our travels, is stuff like this. This is insane. This property just keeps going on. Look at all the, there's a van. Oh my goodness. And just look at the size of the trees that have grown up in between these things. Oh, oh these bugs. We are entering Crossville, Tennessee. And who knows, probably knew our destination by our thumbnail, not positive, so because I don't know what I'm gonna use as a thumbnail. But we're the golf capital of Tennessee. We specifically came this way. Because we like road construction. No, that's not it. And today we visit our fourth Bucky's. We have visited the one in St. Augustine, Florida, Daytona Beach, Florida, and Richmond, Kentucky. And now we're gonna visit this one. We were originally supposed to be here for their grand opening on June 26th or 7th mm. anyway um and was actually like halfway here we were staying somewhere else the previous night when um we had to return home because that was the night our terrible awful night that uh our Disney passed away so we um we're not here for the grand opening but it seems like whoa car in front of us dude um it seems like this might as well be like a grand opening it is absolutely packed this is where you eat on top of easy feeders it's like being at Epcot and you eat on top of the trash cans because there's nowhere else to eat. Oh my god, they have pomegranate shirts. Oh my gosh, Halloween shirts. Oh my goodness. I see things for Blair. I'm in love with these t-shirts. Oh, I have to get one of these. They seriously better have these in adult sizes because these t-shirts are just youths. They're really getting into the Halloween spirit. Quite a few Halloween decor items. I like this one too. Has a oh my gosh, they now have Bucky's jewelry. <laughs> Can you believe it? Bucky's jewelry. Look at that. $19.99. Look at this. It's adults $19.99. Nope, adults are $24.99. That's a little much. Oh my gosh, my daughter is going to love this for Blair. Oh my goodness, little cowboy boots. Actually, Colby's gonna love it. $25, wow. This display is awesome. I love the little, I think that's a tractor grill. Hmm, which one? Probably the guitar? Anybody born in 1982 or graduated in 1982? 40th anniversary t-shirts. <laughs> it's Bucky. We just keep racking up the bags here. Did some Christmas shopping and birthday present shopping. Friends at Disney. That's what I said going in. Oh, does it? Yeah, when they were eating on, I don't know what they were eating on. But here, they're eating on the lamp post base. This is our dinner. So I got the veggie burrito. I had to buy sour cream, 48 cents. So, 
here's one of these collage things. It's a sausage and cheese, and I'm not gonna make you watch me eat, so I'm gonna take a bite and, and then I'll let you know. Yeah, so just, I was just a sausage with some cheese inside of a bread thing. It's not bad. It's a little spiciness to the sausage, but I mean, just enough so that there's flavor. I'd get that again. Collage review goes like this. If you need a modestly decent sized snack, not necessarily a whole meal, but still something that fills you up, those little three dollar buggers do a really good job of it and considering a lot of their sandwiches are like in the six seven eight dollar range yeah my veggie um, burrito was seven veggie burrito was seven and is huge it is huge um this thing is really convenient to eat on the run too and uh it was just fine and this is a little bit pricey too this is uh 6.98 but it's not bad. I mean, little chunks of turkey. If you remember to grab a fork, you're in good shape. But turkey, cheese, grapes, an egg, and some almonds, you know? Very ungreasy, um, nice variety stuff that'll fill you up and you can feel halfway good about. So, let, let's talk about my wife and directions. Um, here's an example of how good she is at giving directions. Uh, we're in Bucky's, and I call her and because there's 6,312 people in there. Say, hey, where are you? I'm in the middle aisle. Click. I found her about a half hour later. Still in the middle aisle. I was in the middle aisle. When we've gone in, we turned right. No, we didn't. I figured. No, you turned right. I, no, I was just like looking at the display that was right in the middle. Yes, yes. And, and, and while you were looking at that, I went to the cleanest restrooms on the highway. And, and I what stayed, did you do? Stayed there for the longest time, got what I needed, and made a U-turn and went the other direction. That's where most of the stuff was. Don't know why she didn't say, oh, from where we came in, turn left and keep going down that middle aisle. She was like almost at the far end of the store. So anyway, I digress. The other one is we're... Uh, <laughs> no, tell the police officer story. Oh, yeah, and then and then she texts me, helpful woman, and says, it's like, I'm by the police office. No, I said I'm still in the middle aisle. I'm still in look the middle for aisle. the police officer. No, she, did, she meant to type, look for the police officer, but there was no R. So Tom was looking around the outside of the building for, like, the police office. <laughs> Wait, just Bucky's have a police office. That's Matter what fact, I that's was wondering. It's like, you know, Bucky's I've, I've ever seen a never officer. seen a police office yeah. in a Bucky's. <laughs> so it's like, well, I guess this is the first time we visited this one. Maybe they have a police office. <laughs> but she's saying it like, I know where the police office is. Nope, I don't. <laughs> and especially when I'm not even looking for an office. I'm looking for an office. Err. So, they, no, none of those are my favorites of the day, however. <laughs> my favorite of the day is we're driving through the central Kentucky trying to find um, how to, you know, weaving through. It was a fun trip, lots of cool stuff. And she said, it's like, oh, it's like, here's what you do. You go through a bunch of lights and then you turn at the light after all the lights. <laughs> what? It's like, I just started laughing. It's like, what could do? I, yeah. So anyway, 
Um, our trips are entertaining. <sighs> After a few deep breaths, at least they are. So, oh, this is cool up here, so I'm gonna have to like turn this around. This is working poorly. There it is again. They have lots of duckies. We have two larger duckies. What, 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 what's the whole Jeep duck thing anyway? As another road trip draws to a close, I'm reminded of how cool the views are that greet us when we return from all sorts of different directions. So, who knows what lays ahead of us, but one thing we know for sure, more adventures await. Oh wait, no, this is a cooler view on the highway. No, wait, wait, this is prettier here. Okay, yeah, th this one's really good. This one's really good. Should be on their guard. 